Bonjour. Well, I've just come from the hardware store um, because you see, I've been itching to redecorate my two bedrooms upstairs, and uh, I've bought some paints. Uh, most of the furniture and the, the wardrobes were painted white, so I'm tired of that. And um, I bought what I call a donkey grey, which is like a, a brownish grey that I will cover the white with. But then certain parts of the furniture, the, both the wardrobes and the beds, they've got beautiful carvings and I want to highlight those carvings. So I'm going to go a bit uh, Louis XIV Versailles and uh, I'm going to do a layering of the following a dark layer underneath the graphite and um, then I'll cover it with a dark red and on top of that I'm going to use a decorative paste um, this is a light gold very very almost white um, and then on top of that I will end it with a rich gold and uh, these are chalk paints locally made not any Sloan and then afterwards I've got this protection layer that I will put on um, but before I, I go upstairs to show you what I actually want to do I thought I just wanted to show you some time ago I went with Madame de Lage to the cemetery in La Gera where the chapel is and she pointed out a few things that I thought you might also find very interesting. So let's go there and then afterwards I'll take you upstairs. Il y a là une pierre particulière, c'est celle-ci. Elle, elle s'enfonce, elle était beaucoup plus visible. On, on l'appelle le chevalier. Vous voyez, c'est un, une silhouette qui oui. représente, elle est appelée le chevalier, <rire> pardon, les bras croisés. <rire> J'ai connu, en plus, là, c'est une pierre qui s'enfonce. Et il faudrait qu'elle soit dégagée. Un jour, elle va disparaître. Alors, il y a des, il y a, voilà, des pierres, là, des pierres tombales. Des pierres tombales anciennes. Voilà, celle-ci. C'est ce la zone, c'est l'espace dans le cimetière où il y a le plus de pierres tombales très anciennes. Celle-ci, elle est très jolie. Alors, vous avez une très belle plaque de porcelaine oh. avec un très très beau décor. Et là, c'est une pierre pour un, qui a été faite pour un, 
il y avait un enfant, Elvis. un autre enfant, un enfant âgé, une enfant âgée d'un mois, un autre enfant âgé de cinq ans. Et vous voyez ce, ce très très beau décor avec les anges et une couronne de fleurs. Et... Elle est très belle cette pierre-là, cette euh, plaque. Ce sont des plaques en porcelaine. C'était fabriqué sur Limoges et c'était des plaques qui, euh, que l'on a, a trouvées relativement longtemps et qui, qui sont la particularité de la fabrication euh, d'une entreprise sur Limoges. Sure. C'est très beau. Hein. Alors on remarque même, regardez, on remarque le décor. Le décor, alors avec parfois, ce sont des violettes. Les violettes, c'est le souvenir. Alors regardez l'écriture. Vous avez ici trois formes d'écriture. Regardez, trois oui. formes d'écriture. C'est extraordinaire toute cette écriture-là. Oui. Et on remarque, en fait, là, on venait dans, nous sommes dans un secteur, il y a des enfants, il y avait beaucoup de décès d'enfants dans, dans ces périodes-là, fin du 19e siècle. Il y avait des maladies. Euh... Oui, chaud. Sure. Je n'avais pas remarqué. Ah, cher Belange. C'est très beau. Et vous remarquez comme les couleurs, comment les couleurs résistent. Alors, il y a des croix aussi qui sont très très belles. Des oui. croix en fer forgé. Regardez celle-ci dans le soleil, comme elle est jolie. Oui. En pierre. Bah, les croix en fer forgé, il y a un très très beau travail d'usinage. Elles sont très belles. Et vous avez le trois tombes là, trois, oui, avec trois pierres tombales ou trois. Pour la même famille. Pour la même famille et enfermé dans son dans son enclos. Oui. C'est assez particulier. de militaires. Venez voir, il y a une très belle plaque pour un militaire. guest room first. Right, um, you can see I am tired of the white. I've been living with this for almost six years now. So 
I really think it's time to change it and also I find the white very very cold in the winter um, and I would like something more cozy and, and warm um, and I've been waiting a long time to change this because I had so many other things going. I had uh, a string of dark portraits to do and I had another commission from the mayor poster for a poet's evening and uh, lots of things happening. So, uh, you remember this tapestry that I got from, from Tony? Beautiful. Now this I will hang between these two mirrors at the back of the bed. Um, and it's got nice rich colors. So I thought this will go very nice with, if I do this in the donkey gray, cover the white um, in a distressed look, and then some of the carvings, for example, that piece there, and there at the back, I will then do in those three layers, and eventually on top it will have the rich gold. So I think that's going to work very well. Okay, so the wardrobe, I was thinking of just covering the white with the, the donkey grey, kind of a distressed look like I'm going to do with the bed. And um, the smaller details like these carvings here, over there at the top, and over there, I will give that golden look, the real Versailles look. So um, the walls, I'm going to keep the same color. They don't need repainting. And uh, let's move to my bedroom. Okay, here in my bedroom, you can see this I painted in an Annie Sloan called French Linen and it's very similar to the donkey grey that I bought for the furniture and the wardrobes. So uh, let me show you what I want to do. I've got the one big wardrobe here and the bed. Okay, this is my wardrobe, the armoire, and um, it's going to be done in plain distressed look, but it has a lot of carvings, and those will be done in the rich gold. And then I know a lot of people will disagree with me, but this bed has been like this for six years, and now it's time to get painted. And it also has a lot of carving on it. Um, some of them the same as the wardrobe. Yeah, you can see it's, it's very similar. There you can see it's the same design as the wardrobe on top. So that will also be done in the gold. And this bedside table I will leave in wood. And the same with the dressing table. I will leave that in wood. I inherited that from my grandmother, so I will keep it in wood. I don't want to paint that. So that is my spring project. I'm looking forward to it and I will give you regular updates and progress reports on what I'm doing. And, um, show you some of the technique that I'm using. Um, but before I say goodbye, let's just go and see what the progress is like at the chapel. I'm on my way to the chapel. I've just arrived in La Gera. And look what I've got. A hard hat for inside the chapel. <laughs> By the way, it's a glorious spring day. Absolutely wonderful. Ah, the 
working on the roof. So let's have a closer look. There you can see they've started on the roof, on the two arms of the cross. Where's the rooster? Do you think he was served for Easter? Shame. Right here you can see the side of the chapel was repointed. Let's have a look inside. Oh, all the scaffolding is down. This looks dangerous. See, all the electrical work has been done, so they will obviously they will obviously put lights in here. They are all over. I'm so glad they kept the roof. <laughs> yes, the rooster is very much alive. 